When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Absolutely, unequivocally, yes, is the answer. Now, here is the host of The Long Bearded Guy, the Chief Catalyst, Strategist Guide at Jewel International, Gordon D. Melville. Good afternoon, my friends. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to The Long Bearded Guy with Gordon D. Melville. That's me on Inspired Choices Network. Welcome to Red Fridays. It's Red Friday, R-E-D. Uh, uh, you can't see it, my red tie. I have my red tie. Um, red, R-E-D is Remember Everyone Deployed. So the, the military, they're willing to stand, the soldiers, forget whether they're supposed to be, not supposed to be. You know, we can have discussions about that, but the soldiers themselves are just doing their job. So I want to be able to honor them because they're willing to stand in the fray and stand on that wall to protect me so that I can have my show and I can run around and do my life however I think I want to do it. And I appreciate them for that. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for what you do. All right. So today we are going to talk about shelf awareness, like book shelf awareness being having awareness of what's not just on our shelf we talked a couple of weeks ago about knowing thy shelf knowing what's on your shelf and in understanding that when i know my what's on my shelf it helps me understand who i am when you hear me all the time ask who you be that's part of what we're asking right shelf awareness self-awareness can you be self-aware? When we talk about shelf awareness, what's on your shelf? What are the books you're reading? What are the things that you're putting into the top of your mind, into your brain, in, literally into your mind to expand it and to help it grow in a positive way? Are you putting good stuff in, right? They used to say garbage in, garbage out. That still holds true. You put crappy stuff in, you're going to get crappy, crappy out. If I put the lowest grade of, of petrol, of gasoline, into a Ferrari, it's not going to perform anywhere near what it would if I put the highest grade. Now, it'll do even better if I put rocket fuel in. But the point is, it needs that performance fuel. Why? Because that steel sharpens steel. Steel sharpens steel. I, I had made the, the, uh, the quote from Game of Thrones a couple of weeks ago. My brother has his sword. King Robert has his war hammer. And I have my mind and a mind needs books as a sword needs a whetstone if it is to keep its edge. If it's to stay sharp, it needs books. It needs things to stimulate it to keep it going. And there are some amazing, amazing, amazing titles. There's some incredible books out there, thousands and tens of thousands of books that can help you grow intentionally. If what you want is to stay where you are and you're happy where you are, bravo for you. And, and that's wonderful. You probably won't listen to me very long because I don't want to stay where I am. And so I'm always growing. I'm always looking to push that envelope. I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable being uncomfortable. I want to keep pushing forward. I'm not happy with the status quo. Jim Rohn used to say, I want to be Grateful, but not content. Right? I want to be grateful for where I am. I'm grateful for what I have and wh what's going on and, and the position I'm at. I'm grateful for that. But I'm not content where I am. Because as soon as I'm content, I don't push anymore. As soon as I'm content, I'm in my comfort zone. That's a killing. That's the kill box. In a military environment, comfort zone is the kill box. That's the place where you, that's the most lethal place to be because you'll die in your comfort zone. There is zero growth, none, none in, in your comfort zone. If you want to grow, you have to get out of your comfort zone. Get out of your comfort zone. Read stuff, read period, if that's out of your comfort zone. But read stuff that's going to challenge you. Read stuff that you go, you know what? I don't know if I believe this or not, but I'm going to read it because it's going to expand my mind. Read something else. Welcome, welcome, welcome. 
I'm so happy you're here. And don't mistake what you're hearing for anger because I'm not angry. I'm not frustrated. I'm really passionate about what I'm talking about coming from my heart. I want you to be better. If you want to be better, I want to help you get better. I'm here to help you do that. I know people are listening from all over the world. They're listening from work. They're listening from home. They're listening from school. They're listening from all over the place. And you know what? Thank you so much for spending some of your limited quality time with me. It's a limited resource. Once it's gone, it's gone. And you're spending some with me. And I, I respect that. I honor that. And I'm humbled by the fact you're spending that with me. So thank you. If you know me, then you already know <laughs> that I'm on a mission to change the life of every man I meet by raising their emotional quotient, by raising their emotional intelligence. And it's not an intelligence, but it's a, it's a quotient. So raising that quotient, giving them some tools that they can use that can help them day to day to day to day. But for everybody, my avatars are entrepreneurial men and pro athletes, but I'll work with everybody. I have cohorts in my, in my Box Inside Out program for men and for women because I was asked to do that. I was requested to do that. And so, or challenged to do that. So I did. But I'm the founder and CEO of Jewel International. I'm a champion mindset mentor for a pro basketball team that just had the, their winningest season ever the first time they did mindset work. I'm a multi-award winning international best-selling author multiple times. I'm an international speaker, keynote speaker. Um, I, anyway, the, the, the point is I teach the seven levels of emotional intelligence for men and I can give you my resume, but at the end of the day, that doesn't matter. I can tell you who I am and what I do, but at the end of the day, what you're looking for is the transformation. What you're looking for are results. We all know people that have degrees after degrees after degrees after degrees and can't help me or help you in any way, shape, or form. And we know people that children can, can shift my whole life. That we know people that have no designation whatsoever behind their name that can make monumental life-changing transformation. It doesn't matter what the credentials are. It really doesn't. I, I'm telling you this is who I am. So that you have some idea who you're listening to. But you know what? At the end of the day, it's the information that comes out episode after episode after episode after episode on the more than 450 platforms globally. And if you're not connected, I appreciate that you're here. We're excited to have you find us on Apple TV and Google TV. Find Inspired Choices Network anywhere that you would do a download for your App Store, Google Play Store, wherever it is. It's free download. Inspired Choices Network. Download it, hold it on your, your uh, mobile device, put it on your laptop, put it wherever, and then plug into it. It doesn't cost anything to do that. There's some incredible, incredible hosts on that network, on this network, on a whole raft of different topics. Plug into the people that make sense to you. Hopefully you can find my happy beard in there and you can listen to, you can listen to all my stuff. Go to inspiredchoicesnetwork.tv. That's our TV station. Plug into that. You can watch all the episodes there. If you want to listen to it, we're on iHeartRadio. We're on Spotify. We're on, you want a podcast? We're on the same. If you want TV, there's stuff that too. The point is not being able to plug in or not finding a way to plug in is just wrong because there's so many ways to plug in. Please also like, love, share, and subscribe. That helps our algorithms and it helps pay for the show. But liking and loving and sharing it that's what I'm looking for is engagement. Engagement. I've got huge reach, hundreds and hundreds of millions reach. I want engagement. I want the thousands and thousands of people that listen or watch every week to engage, reach out to me, comment on the show, put your thoughts in there. Am I full of shit? Tell me. If you agree, tell me. If it helped you somehow, tell me. I want to hear those things. I love to hear that stuff. It, it, it reinforces for me, yep, people are paying attention, they're listening, and it's helpful. So in this episode, shelf awareness, so it's kind of part two to know thy shelf um, from a few weeks ago. But, but in, in this first piece, I want to talk about, and, and basically for this show, I want to give you um, some ideas People ask all the time, what are the top five books you've ever read? Give us some ideas. So I'm going to give you some ideas of some books you can read. I'm going to give you some titles. 
And again, I missed it at the beginning. You, if, if you don't have a journal or you don't have someplace to write stuff down, you're going to want it. A pen and somewhere to write. Because I'm going to give you some titles and you're going to go, oh, I want to read that. Oh, that's a good title. I, I, I've heard that before, but I need to read that. So I'm going to give you a bunch of titles, okay? I've read all of these. They're all phenomenally good books. And these are in no particular order, by the way. This isn't, hey, these are the top five. This is the, that's, that's not the case. These are all incredibly incredibly good books that if you take the information and then implement it, don't just read it because you might as well not read it. If you're not going to do anything with it, don't buy the book. Don't read it. Don't I'm telling you, don't read it. My advice is do not read it. If you're not doing anything with the information, then it's an expense. It's going to cost you 15, 20, 30 bucks, 35 bucks for the book. That's an expense. If you're not going to use it, if you are, it's an investment in yourself. It's an investment in you if you use it. Because once you have that information inside of you, now you're responsible for that information. What are you doing with it? So get the books, whether it's on audio or, or actually, I like physical book. I like to be able to follow along. So the first one is the laws of success. Napoleon Hill with um, Andrew Carnegie. Andrew Carnegie asked him, commissioned him to write a book. He wanted him to take a success book about success. And he opened his oral decks and let a, a young law clerk, Napoleon Hill, have access to his Rolodex that had presidents and icons of industry. And, and he spent a lot of time, Napoleon spent a lot of time with Andrew. But Andrew was one of the most powerful, most influential most the one of the richest guys in the 20th or 21st century based on what he what his net worth if you if you do it again for adjusted for inflation stupid 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 amount of money but napoleon he he commissioned napoleon he wasn't going to pay napoleon he didn't pay him he said this is going to take 25 years are you willing to do it oddly enough opportunity looks for speed there's right when andrew asked Napoleon, if he would do it, he had a stopwatch in his hand behind his back. Napoleon didn't realize. And, and Andrew said, if it took him more than a minute in his own mind, he was like, if it takes him more than a minute to say yes, I'm going to offer that opportunity to somebody else. Opportunity doesn't knock forever, folks. Opportunity does not knock forever. I know some people, my, my wife's grandpa had his sight, was in the war, got meningitis when he came back from the war, blind. Some of the stuff we take for granted, not going to be there forever. It may not be there, may not be there forever. We need to use it when we have the opportunity. Don't put it off. Don't take what you should do today and put it off till tomorrow. You're not guaranteed tomorrow. That's a life, a life principle, something to live by. You'll find it in books. You'll find it illustrated in books when people are carrying resent, uh, uh, they're, they're carrying um, guilt from not doing something they knew they should have done. Regret is the word I was looking for. They're carrying regret. And the, the weight of regret will kill you. The weight of regret will bury you. Don't have regret. I need to take a quick break. Um, so before we get out, the laws of success will come back to because there's, there's another little piece of that I want to tell you about. But before we get to break here, uh, I need to do a shout out to Jose Escobar is the founder and CEO. I appreciate him so much. And all of my sponsors, I appreciate you all tremendously. I can't do this without you. I can't do it without the listeners, but I can't do it without the sponsors either. And I have opportunities for sponsorship if you're up for that. But Jose Escobar is the founder and CEO of the Entrepreneur's Bookshelf. Check out the Connected Leaders Academy membership to take your business to the next level. This is the perfect tribe to learn, grow, and connect like never before. The Connected Leaders Academy tribe brings together some of the highest level entrepreneurs from all over the world. Set up your virtual coffee with Jose Escobar today, and you can reach Jose at theentrepreneursbookshelf.com. That's theentrepreneursbookshelf.com. Reach out to him. It's an incredible, incredible group of people. Very, very high level. It will, it will move you forward. If you're an entrepreneur and you have a history of success and you can fit your ego in a room, he wants to talk to you. 
and it's a it's a wonderful wonderful group so as we go to break don't forget to pause and breathe i have my my special mug with herbal tea um but don't forget to pause and breathe so that you're grounding yourself pause and breathe to ground yourself and plug into source i'll be right back you're with gordon d melville i'm the long bearded guy on inspired choices network don't go anywhere How much of our daily success relies on our mindset? Anything we are unaware of can still impact our lives. When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Why is the word stigma such a BS misnomer? Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Join the long bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville. The Chief Catalyst Strategist Guide at Jewel International invites you to an enlightening, sometimes shocking discussion. He will be challenging you to explore your own answers to these questions and so many more. This will lead you towards living an abundant, successful life no matter how you define it. Gordon D. Melville is live Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is the Long Bearded Guy with Gordon D. Melville. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to the Long Bearded Guy at gmail.com. Now back to the program. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. You're with the long bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville. That's me. And today we're talking about shelf awareness, shelf awareness, bookshelf awareness. But when we have awareness of what's on our shelf and we're buying the right books and we're buying the stuff that's pouring wisdom into ourselves, all of a sudden we have self awareness. We know who we are. We know who we're being. We can answer the question. Yay. Who are you being? Who you be? You'll be able to answer that. So shelf awareness. We're, we were giving you, I'm going to give you some, some titles of books that, uh, that can help you. That helped me tremendously. Again, it's not about necessarily the author. It's not necessarily about what the book is about. What you're looking for is an investment in yourself using the information. And if you're not going to use the information, don't buy the book. Don't just read it and let it sit on your shelf. Don't buy it and let it sit on your shelf. How many people have books on your shelf you've never cracked open ever? You got excited about it. Oh, that would be awesome. And it sat on your shelf and collected dust until you gave it to Goodwill or gave it to a friend or gave it to somebody else. You never actually read it yourself. That's tragic. That's now an expense. It costs you money because you didn't use it. If you buy it and read it and use that information, You've invested that money in yourself. And even Warren Buffett said, the best investment you can ever make is in yourself. Let me say it again. Warren Buffett said, the best investment you can ever make is in yourself. So it behooves me to have self-awareness. And a tool to do that is shelf-awareness. The Law of Success is the first book we talked about. And I was telling you about Napoleon Hill. Napoleon Hill wrote The Law of Success was the first book that combined all the more than, well, he used about 500 for the book. He interviewed thousands of people, but the, that the people that got put into the book, Henry Ford and Thomas Edison and Roosevelt and all these iconic, iconic IP human being thought leaders and um, uh, magnet, business magnets and inventors and presidents and all these people. He put that into a book called The Law of Success, and it's a great, big, thick, massive book, massive, big book. 
and it didn't sell very well. The Law of Success, a very large book. <laughs> but it didn't sell very well because it was so big. It was cumbersome. And so the the, produ the publishers came to him and said, can you write like a Cliff's Notes, like a Reader's Digest condensed version? But there's a lot of stuff in here about success. They conflate success with money. And so they asked him to write something called the uh, Think and Grow Rich, which became one of the best-selling sales books ever. One of the best-selling personal development books ever. Personal development books, for sure. I tell people when they ask, what should I read? Don't read Think and Grow Rich. Buy a copy of The Law of Success. As a matter of fact, this copy of The Law of Success was cheaper than most of the copies I have of Think and Grow Rich, which is kind of ironic. And all the information from Think and Grow Rich is in The Law of Success as the original work. So get a copy of The Law of Success, study it. Don't just read it. Study it. Highlight, underline, win a margins. With a, with a, I would have a journal handy. Study it. Don't just read it. And all of these titles are like that. Don't just read them. Study them. And then apply what's inside. Outwitting the devil is also Napoleon Hill. You want to you want to get around for the spiritual people in the room, including myself. Great book, great great book. Um, Meditations is Marcus Aurelius, but that's Roman times. Some of this stuff isn't isn't new. These concepts a lot of times are not new. There's a is it Beatles? Nothing new under the sun. The song. Uh, Marcus Aurelius, Meditations, phenomenal, phenomenal book. And it's written in a way that you can read just a little bit, one line. Some of these are just one line. For good and right, stand on my side. Don't join me in the morning, morning, M-O-U-R-N-I-N-G, or in ecstasy. Don't join in either one. Why? Because it's fleeting. Things come to pass. They don't come to stay. They come to pass. Situations come to pass. They're not staying here, good or bad, mourning or ecstasy, sadness or, or excitement and happiness. Neither one is going to be here for, for all the time. They're going to come and go. Both of them are. You want, you want a deep think? That's a great bathroom book, Meditations, because you can read one line uh, or a paragraph and then walk away and chew on it. because it's going to, And you'll think about it all day. Uh, 10x rule is uh, Grant Cardone. Incredible. Anything by Grant's amazing. I love I love Grant. I worked with him for seven years. I love him. But uh, and and I don't even take 100 percent of what he says. I don't think anybody takes 100 percent of any what anybody says. They take the pieces that resonate with them and they push it all together. And that's that's how they get their own ideas. That's how, how they build their own personality. That's how they they have their own concepts around what's going on. But the 10x rule is an incredible book about 10 X in your life. Grant always said, and he's worth, I think it's eight, eight or $10 billion now. And, and he keeps saying where he messed up. If you can call a billionaire messed up in his life, he said, I didn't set my goals high enough. He said, no one's ever outworked me, but I didn't set my goals high enough. I should have set my goals higher. And I would have got even farther than I am now. The problem people go, oh, I can't 10x. Their experience with that is, oh, if I 10x my goals, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna miss every time. I'm never gonna get to what my 10x goal is, and then I just feel defeated because I didn't make my goal. So if you set your goal for your income for 100k, or you set it for 40k, and you miss it by 40 percent, which number do you want to miss by 40 percent? The problem isn't with the goal. The problem is we set this 10x goal. We don't 10x the effort it's going to take to get there. And then we blame it on the goal. 10x rule, incredible book. Compound effect and entrepreneur's roller coaster. That's Darren Hardy. As far as I'm concerned, you shouldn't be allowed to be an entrepreneur until you've read Compound Effect and Entrepreneur Roller Coaster. Entrepreneur Roller Coaster. And if you don't know who Darren Hardy is, he, he's worked for, was editor for Success Magazine for a decade, more than a decade. He's interviewed every amazing human being of this century. Incredible, incredible, incredible. And he, entrepreneur roll closer, he punches you right in the throat. He doesn't pull any punches. It's going to be hard. It's going to be tough. You're going to put in long hours. Blah, it, like he just, he doesn't sugarcoat it at all. 
but you should have to read that before you agree to, oh, I'm going to go, I'm going to be my own boss. That'll be so much better. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes not so much. If you're looking for lower, lower amount of hours, that's not it. Don't do that. And the compound effect, the concept around that is that when you, if I asked you if, uh, for this next 30 days, I can either pay you $2 million for the next 30 days, or I can pay you one cent on the first day and just double it every day for the same 30 days, which would you prefer? And most people go a penny a day will multiply the penny on the first day and 2 million. Yeah, I'll take the 2 million. What they just did was shoot themselves in the foot for $2 million more. Cause if you compound it out, it's more than $4 million. What the first 18 or 20 days are only five, not even six bucks. The biggest compounding is at the end. Consistently, persistently do the activity that you know you're supposed to do. You may not see the difference today or tomorrow. And you've heard me say this before. They go, oh, I'm going to work out. I'm going to get in shape. I'm going to, I'm going to release a bunch of weight. I, what, right? And you eat salads and you go and you, you do two workouts today because you want to be just that much more into what you're doing. And the next morning you get up and you look in the mirror. You look exactly the same as you did yesterday. And you go, well, that's brutal. What the heck is that? What? That's not fair. You know what? I, I'll do it again. So you eat salads. You go three a day on that second day. You can barely move the next morning. But you did three a day. You look at yourself in the mirror the next day. What do you see? Uh-oh. <laughs> it's the same thing again. I look the same as I did two days ago. What am I doing this effort for? Because if you continue to do even one a day and eat properly and take the, do the things every day you know you're supposed to do, six months down the road, and it probably doesn't even take that long, you will notice a difference in your body. Do the things every day you know you're supposed to do. And that's what the compound effect talks about. It says, don't be, don't be turned off by the fact that you don't see the result you think you're supposed to get right away. Lots of times with business, they say, expect to lose money for the first, what, two to three years, four years, five years sometimes. Don't get discouraged by not seeing the result today. We live in an immediate gratification society, microwaves, instant mash potatoes. Like we're, we, we want it right now. It's, it's we, we need to be able to learn and understand and remember, remember, because we used to know to remember it's not the, the best things, the things that really, really are valuable, the things we really treasure are not instant. They're not instant. A diamond took forever. Extreme pressure. Well, that's right. We don't want pressure. But that extreme pressure on a piece of coal over a long period of time turned it into something that people pay thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars for. Why? Because it's rare and it's precious. What caused that? Pressure and time. Take the lesson from that. Atomic Habits. If you haven't read Atomic Habits, you got to get a copy of Atomic Habits. It's literally what it says. Your habits, are. you can blow up your life in a positive way by having that same habit we are just talking about. Day in, consistently. Day in, persistently. Day in, day out. Day in, day out. Day in, day out. Day in, day out. Having those habits. So what you think about becomes your habit. Right. What you think about becomes what you do. And we do it consistently, persistently. Eventually that becomes a habit. The four agreements. If you haven't read the four agreements, Don Ruiz, if you haven't read Don Miguel Ruiz, the four agreements, you've got to read the four agreements. It'll revolutionize your life. It'll revolutionize your life. That book, it's just little. It'll take you a half an hour, 45. It will not take you long. But that book, incredible. Don't take things personally. Well, there's th those four things. If you implement them in your life, your life will flip over in some of the best possible ways. If you execute, you have to execute. Don't just read it and go, well, that's good information. No, do something with it. Do something with it. Don't just read it. And again, it's not, you're not hearing anger or frustration. What you're hearing is passion. I, I, I want to I be able to help people. 
but that I have to care. I want you to know it's going to say on my tombstone. I always knew he loved me. I, I want people to know, hey, we may not agree about everything and we may not, we don't have to see eye to eye on everything, but you know what? At the end of a conversation with me, I want you to know unequivocally without question, Gordon D. Melville gives a shit about you as a human being, just the way you are, regardless of whatever. I want you to know that. If I could hug you, I would hug you. I love you. And people go, that's not possible. You don't know me. Really? People hate for no reason. I can love for a reason. You're human. That's all I need to know. You're alive. You're human. That's all I need. When Papa was here, that's what he said. Love me, like love Papa, and then love each other the way you love yourself. And then he put the mic down. That's what my purpose is. That's what all of our purpose is. It's to love on each other. Not to judge, but to help each other, move each other forward. How I show that love in the world is going to be completely different than how you do it because you're a different human being. And that's perfect. That's perfect. There's so many different things. Relentless, Tim Grover, another incredible book. If you want to hold on to your, to your uh, performance, you want to raise your bar, Relentless is an incredible, incredible book. And Tim Grover has spent time with the 92... He's a really, really high level um, mindset mentor, but he, and he's he, brilliant, but he spent time with the 92 dream team, US dream team um, and, and was a mentor to them. Uh, uh, yeah, otherworldly, relentless, incredible book. But again, it's gonna punch you right in the face. It's gonna punch you right in the face. I, I, need, to, I need to take another break, break. I get on my soapbox. I, 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 you know what, time goes so quick. Jose Escobar is the founder and CEO of the Entrepreneur's Bookshelf. Check out the Entrepreneur's Bookshelf to learn more about his morning and evening routine mastery program that's changing people's lives. The program will help you install systems on the bookends of your day to maximize your morning and evening routine. Set up your free strategy session with Jose Escobar today and you can reach him at theentrepreneursbookshelf.com. Theentrepreneursbookshelf.com. And again, if you're not doing something in morning and evening, you're fooling yourself. You're not getting everything out of your day that you could be getting. Whether you think you are or not, the, that's just the reality of it. So I'm not here to be right. I'm here to share with you what I know and what I've learned and you do with it what you want to do with it. I Just keep in mind, it's coming from my heart. It's coming from my heart. As we take another quick break, don't forget to pause and breathe to ground yourself and plug to source. Pause and breathe as we go to a quick break. Don't go anywhere. We're going to come back. We got some good stuff to talk about in the next segment. You're talking, uh, we're talking about shelf awareness. I'm Gordon D. Melville, the long bearded guy on Inspired Choices Network. How much of our daily success relies on our mindset? Anything we are unaware of can still impact our lives. When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Why is the word stigma such a BS misnomer? Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Join the long-bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville. The Chief Catalyst Strategist Guide at Jewel International invites you to an enlightening, sometimes shocking discussion. He will be challenging you to explore your own answers to these questions and so many more. This will lead you towards living an abundant, successful life, no matter how you define it. Gordon D. Melville is live Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. The Connected Leaders Academy is the number one fastest growing networking community for entrepreneurs. CLA assembles high-level leaders, titans of industry, and business owners under one roof. If you're an entrepreneur looking to grow personally, professionally, scale your influence, develop skills, and expand your network exponentially, the CLA is where you need to be. Want on to more podcasts and shows? Speak on more stages? Sell more books, products, and services? Get more leads, referrals? Acquire new clients? Develop lifelong friendships and more? Join the Connected Leaders Academy today. Contact Jose Escobar on Facebook or check out www.claglobalsummit.com for more information. This is the Long Bearded Guy with Gordon D. Melville. 
To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to the bearded guy at gmail.com. Now back to the program. Hey everybody, welcome back. Thank you for sticking with me. You're with Gordon D. Melville, the long bearded guy on Inspired Choices Network. And today we're talking about shelf, S-H-E-L-F awareness, shelf awareness, shelf awareness, self awareness, shelf awareness will give you self awareness. And I know that sounds really close. What you have on your bookshelf will get, help you have self awareness about understanding who you are. And so, uh, yep, I'm passionate about reading. I'm passionate about books. I'm passionate about journaling. I'm passionate about who you're being. Who am I being? Who are you being? That's what's important to me. That's what counts. At the end of the day, that's what matters. Uh, I keep going to these. Uh, we went to a celebration of life with my wife the other day for a f- class friend of hers. Um, and, and 53 years old. And cancer. And you know what, if there's anything that that pushes out for me and makes me stop and go, you know what, what am I putting out? What's the legacy I'm leaving? I want people to know, what are they going to say at my funeral? What are they going to tell people? They're not going to talk about the size of my bank account or how hot my wife is or how big my home is or how many toys I have in the garage or or, none of that matters. How many houses I have, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Focus on what matters. Matt, what matters is who you're being, what you're pouring into people every day. Legacy is every day. Legacy is just what you've poured into people over your whole life. It's not end of life. It's every day. Are you, awareness around that. Shelf awareness, self-awareness around understanding my legacy I'm pouring out every day. I'm doing it at the grocery store and at the bank and in my at school and at work. And I'm leaving legacy in all these people. Nobody stood up at that celebration of life the other day and said, oh, you had a great big, oh, I love his, that they never did that. What did they talk about through tears? He showed up for me at my, at my graduation. He spent time playing games with me on the floor. He played golf with me. He was my buddy that I talked to and that I poured myself out to and, and we connected and we went out and had beers together. Who he was as a human being, that's what they're talking about. I challenge you, who are you being? Literally, who are you being? What you read and put into yourself, if you fill your, you, you work all day, you know, you get up in the morning, you go, you brush your teeth and have your fruit loops and do your calisthenics and, and go to work. You have your lunch, you come home after work, you plunk yourself in a chair till supper's ready. You go and have supper. You come back and plunk in the chair and you watch TSN and the news until you want to go to sleep. And then you go upstairs and have a shower, whatever, go to sleep, get up in the morning, have a shower. Go, you start it all over again. Is that what you do? I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that sometimes. And if you're happy with that, props to you. But I suspect you're not still listening to me. I suspect you're not. If you are, then you're being challenged. Time is something that's a finite thing. You don't have any idea how much time you have. My, my, our friend, Greg, he, he, he had no idea. He had only 53 years. He, he would have thought he would have had, what, what 80 Give or take? Did he get robbed for 30 years? Some people would say yes. What I'm telling you is you have a limited resource of time. Don't waste it. When you get up this morning, you're exchanging a a piece of your limited resource of time for whatever you did today. And it doesn't mean you have to do monumental things every day. It just means you have to have self-awareness. Know who you're being Know who you're pouring that being into other people. Expand yourself by picking up a good book. Put good stuff in the top. Continually put good stuff in the top and let the overflow go to the people around you. There, this, this list is full of uh, 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth by John Maxwell. The one thing, if you haven't read these, you got to read them. Start with why. Simon Sinek. Extreme Ownership. Extreme ownership. It was written by Jocko. He was in, he, he retired now, but SEAL still gets up at four o'clock in the morning. 
and he's been retired for 15 years. Tough, 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 tough. But extreme ownership, take ownership. You are where you are in your life because of the decisions you made, good, bad, or otherwise. Oh, no, is that no bullshit? Stop. Take ownership of where you're at. Because of you, you are where you are. Did you choose to be in that relationship? Yes, great. You have to own it. Did you stay in that too long? Yes, that's on you. That's not on somebody else. Oh, my ex-boss or my boss is a dick. I don't care. You chose to work there. Oh, I have to. I have to. I've got bills. That's the weakest shit I've ever heard. If you don't like where you work, find a different job. Don't quit before you have another job. That's irresponsible. You have bills to pay. But find something that fits you better, that you like better, and go do that. And if push comes to shove and you can't find something, bet on yourself and make something. You want all these other people to bet on you, you bet on you. If you can't find what you want, make it. Manufacture it. Make sure that you're living into who you truly are. Understand who you're being not just for you, but for the people around you, because one's coming into the other. How you show up for you is how you show up for them. Extreme ownership, own your shit, period. It's not on anybody else, own it. It's a choice, by the way, not always easy, but it's a choice, always. And if you tell me I didn't have any choice, what you're saying is I don't like the options. You're not saying I don't like the choice. I don't like what my other options are. Great. Then you still have a choice. The Magic of Thinking Big. Older book, but incredible book. There's some really old ones on here. The Richest Man in Babylon. Great book. You want to learn about, about money and how to deal with like concepts of, of financials? And the, the concepts are the same. It was written uh, years and years and years ago. Uh, there's a series, uh, Keepers of Influence, is Daniel Priestley. Um, un oversubscribe 24 assets, keepers of influence, um, entrepreneur revolution. There's a whole series of them that he does. Incredible books. If you're a business person, you want to move to another level, you need to get that series of books. Um, the, the, sorry, keepers of influence, anything in that series. Incredible. The richest man in Babylon, as a man thinketh, is James Allen. Again, it's old, it's old, it's old, but the principles are the same. That's why I'm telling you, it doesn't matter whether you want to listen to Jim Rohn from years ago, Norman Vincent Peale from years ago, more than 100 years ago, or you want to listen to somebody that's contemporary like Bren Brown now. Listen to whoever you want. The point is the, the concepts are the same. The life skills are the same. The power of now, Eckhart Tolle. The seven habits of highly effective people. Man's search for meaning. You owe you is Eric Thomas, if you know who E.T. is, a uh, hip hop uh, minister. I love Eric Thomas. But again, if you don't want to get punched in the face, don't listen to Eric Thomas. If you don't want a hard hitting, no BS, call a spade, a shovel, don't listen to E.T. because he will rip you a new one right in the middle of your forehead. And he's a pastor. So you don't get language with him, which is great, but you'll get challenged so hard. He will make you, you'll be awake at three o'clock in the morning every day. If you're, if you're listening to ET. Dare to lead. That's Bren Brown. Daring greatly is Bren Brown. How to win friends and influence people is Dale Carnegie. Who moved my cheese is Dr. Spencer Johnson. Great book, by the way. Who moved my cheese? Great book. The 5 a.m. Club, incredible book. You want to up, up your game? Read that. Leaders Must Eat is, again, uh, sorry, Leaders Eat Last is Simon Sinek. No Excuse is The Power of Self-Discipline by Brian Tracy. Again, self-discipline. What are we talking about? Self-awareness. Shelf-awareness. Self-awareness. One will help reading these types of books will help us have the other. Knowing what's on our shelf, putting the right thing on our shelf, wise choice books will help our self-awareness. Make Your Bed is a great book. General wrote that. Incredible, incredible, incredible life principle. Basic stuff. Make Your Bed. The Power of Positive Thinking is Norman Vincent Peale. There are so many incredible books out there. 
There's lots of stuff. There's stuff that's free. There's stuff that costs us just a little bit. Of put the investment in yourself. I was talking to somebody today. They spent three hundred dollars on the weekend at a at a bar with having fun and dinner and whatever. But they won't sign up to do a class. Oh, Gordon, it's too expensive. Really? Because you wasted three hundred dollars the other night and didn't bat an eye when the bill came. Didn't bat an eye. Boom, and he does it every weekend. It's twelve hundred dollars a month that he can't show anything for. There's no ROI. None. But it's too expensive to spend five hundred bucks on a class that will transform his life. It's priorities. Where's the priority? I've got if it. Uh, you hear me say it regularly. But if you want help, reach out. I, I've got group programs. We've got one-on-one -on -one programs. If, if you're looking for something that's dollars and cents that, that doesn't doesn't cost forever, we've got some programs like that. I do. I can help. I want to help. But resources are only good if you plug into them. What's the priority? Well, Gord, it's priority that it really show me your checkbook and show me your day timing. Because where you spend your time and your money is your priority, regardless what your mouth says, regardless what kind of a sales job you did on yourself to tell yourself, no, nope, personal development's important. Really, when was the last time you bought a book? When was the last time you invested in a course or a class for yourself to expand you in any way, in any way, a cooking class, learn a language, it doesn't matter what it is. When was the last time you did that for yourself? Don't tell me personal development is a priority if you're not spending time. I tell coaches all the time, I don't trust a coach that doesn't have a coach. I have three coaches and I have a therapist. And it's not because I'm not messed up. It's because I need that for, I have blind spots. I don't have all the answers. Nobody does. We need to have that. If you want help, you want me to speak to your group, reach out. You want me to speak to your men's group or your church or to your organization or what reach out you can get a hold of me at the long bearded guy at gmail.com is my email easy to remember or plug in and just answer or put a comment in one of my shows and i'll reach out to you if you want to sponsor you want to help me get this message out you you believe in this message you believe in what we're talking about i need help getting the message out there's there's some very lucrative uh sponsorship opportunities available Reach out to me, the long bearded guy. Where we're going to do a quick wrap at the end. I've got a call to action. I hope you're going to pick up. I was excited about it, but I hope you get excited about it. I hope you actually execute. Don't go, hey, I know. No, 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 no. You'll stop learning. Gord, I'll pick up that gauntlet. I'll pick up that gauntlet. I hope that's what happens. Don't forget to pause and breathe as we go for a quick break here to help ground yourself. And I will see you in just a minute. You're with the long bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville on Inspired Choices Network. Be right back. How much of our daily success relies on our mindset? Anything we are unaware of can still impact our lives. When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Why is the word stigma such a BS misnomer? Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Join the long bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville. The Chief Catalyst Strategist Guide at Jewel International invites you to an enlightening, sometimes shocking discussion. He will be challenging you to explore your own answers to these questions and so many more. This will lead you towards living an abundant, successful life no matter how you define it. Gordon D. Melville is live Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. 
We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is the Long Bearded Guy with Gordon D. Melville. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to the long bearded guy at gmail.com. Now back to the program. Hey everybody, welcome back. Thank you for sticking around today. I really appreciate you being here with me today. It means a lot to me that you're here. Today we've been talking about shelf awareness. Again, a plan words for self-awareness, but my, my shelf awareness, the books I have that I read, if that's what I'm pouring in, is, is wise in what it's supposed to be, it will help me have self-awareness. It'll raise my self-awareness. Well, guess what that is? It's EQ. It's emotional quotient. When that goes up, my life gets better. When my emotional quotient gets better and goes up, my relationships get better. Some of these books talk about uh, uh, relationship stuff. My, my last one, or not my last one, I guess this is from last year. This one, your relationship roadmap, it went number one international bestseller. More than 200 years of marriage advice in there, relationship advice. There's lots of things out there to pick up and read. There's lots of good stuff out there. Plug into it, but invest in yourself. Don't spend the money. If you're not going to read them, don't buy them. You're just going to give them away at some point. They're going to collect dust and frustrate you at some point. They're going to convict you because you're looking at them all the time going, you know, I've never read that book. It looks like a good book. I was told it was a good book. Gord said it was a great book, but you know what? You know, that long bearded guy, he said it was good, but I have never actually opened it. I bought it because I was all excited in the moment. I didn't, I, I didn't actually execute on that good intention. If you've heard me talk before, you've spent any time listening to me, you know, it's not the good intention. That's the problem. It's that we didn't execute on the good intention. My, my call to action this week is choose one or two, or for extra credit, maybe you want to choose five books from the list you wrote down today from what I shared with you that you haven't already read. Don't choose a bunch of books you've already read. Choose titles you've never read and read them in this month. In the next 30 days, read them in the next 30 days. And if you're not used to reading and one, one book is what you're at, hey, props. You did something with it. You bought a book that you had never read and you read it in 30 days. Reach out and tell me I want to celebrate with you. That's huge. That's huge. You haven't read normally. And, and it doesn't, you have to, don't have to, it's not sit down and read a whole book today. Commit to 10 pages a day. Read a, a minimum of 10. If you get into it, you oh, I got to read 50, 60, 100 pages today. Great. But extra credit is five, but at least choose one, at least one or two that you can read in the next month. And then tell me about it. I'm giving you a challenge. I'm throwing the gauntlet down. Pick it up. Are you, are you, you want to accept that challenge? You got the guts to do it? I've said that before. I double dog dare you. I double dog dare you to invest in yourself. That's not just spend the money. Spend the money. Get the book. You want, you want to plug into a, into a workshop? Men's or women's? Let me know. That's an investment in yourself. You will, your life will change. I'll guarantee it. You want your life to change? You want to guarantee your life will change? Plug into that. Reach out to me because I'll guarantee you your life will change. Everybody that's ever taken it, hundreds and hundreds of people have taken that class. Pro athletes, elite, elite entrepreneurs, business people, lots of people have taken that class. And every single one of them goes, you know what? It revolutionized my life. It changed my life. I learned a ton. Plug into it. Reach out to me. I've got two core. Uh, there's a, a woman's and a man's that are registering right now. Reach out to me if that resonates with you. Get a book that you've never read and read it. Let me know. Tell me. Engage. Or look, I read. Look what I read. Yay. That's awesome. Good job. Next week, July 12th, it's a surprise. <laughs> that should come as no surprise that, that, that the title is a surprise. Be courageous. Be unapologetically you this week. Make it another great week. You have the power to do it. Live out you abundantly and with intention. I love you. Massive hug. See you next week. And the question is what? Who are you being? Thank you for tuning into the Long Bearded Guy Show. You are appreciated and loved. 
Gordon D. Melville returns Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on the InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until then, make it another great week, leading with love, powerfully designing, crafting, and living out your positively impactful legacy life you were created for. Big hugs.